When you feel connection, hands to your heart center. Acknowledge the space in between your palms. And just notice what brought you to your mat today. Then begin to feel more of an uplifting inhale, feeling your chest move closer to your thumbs, your shoulders open, your neck and head lengthen up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, just begin to relax. Take six rounds of breath, energy moving up. and relaxing down. Inhale, energy moving up, get nice and full. And it can be a quicker exhale, let everything go. Take three more rounds of breath, just like that. Now let's breathe together. Stronger inhale, breathe in. And a slow exhale, breathe out. Inhale, puff up lower belly, lower back, side of your lungs, all the way up to the top of your chest. And through your nose, exhale. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. And then slowly open up your eyes. Now point your fingers forward. We're gonna open up the arms wide and back and then take it forward. Open up and forward for 10. Last three, two, and one. Draw your arms overhead. Take your elbows down by your side, big wingspan, lengthen out your neck, draw your head from side to side. And then draw your hands to your heart center once again. Interlace your fingers, reach your arms overhead and circle the rib cage right, left, side to side. Slowly come back to center. Goal post your arms, tap your elbows in and open up, kiss shoulder blades. Take that for 10. You can go slow or fast. Draw your elbows in line with your shoulders to really open up here. Last four, three, two, and one. Now draw your arms down by your side. Lean over to the left and circle around your right shoulder. Now plug your left shoulder in just a little bit more and take it for five, four, Three, two, and one. Lean over to your right and circle the left side back. Plug in your right shoulder. Open up here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center and take your arms forward. You can bend your elbows, round the upper back. We're here for three, two, and one. Now cross your right arm across your body and hook with your left. Bump your shoulders down. Take your left ear, left shoulder, and just move around the chin a little bit. Squeeze your tricep closer towards your chest. And then other side. Left arm across your body. Plug your 
Left shoulder down. Take your right ear, right shoulder, lift chin up and move your chin around. Slowly come back to center. Shake out the arm, shake out the shoulders. And then slowly twist over to your left. Find length, gaze over your left shoulder. Now, when we move faster, or twist shorter sips of air. And then other side, go over to the right, gaze over your right shoulder. Come back to center, arrive onto your shins if you're not already, tops of the feet go down, let's lift the hips. Right hand goes down, press your hips up and find a side body stretch. And then other side, left hand down, right hand high side body stretch. And then tabletop position, all fours, hands and knees. Let's flip the wrist so the eyes of the elbows are forward, front of your room. Press into all 10 fingers. And then extend your right heel back and pump through your right heel. and then extend it to the opposite leg. And then slowly come back to center, shake out your wrist. And we're gonna still move a lot here. So go ahead and take runner's lunge on the right. So it's a big movement, may need a prop. Take your right foot outside of the right um, side of your mat and your right foot's at a 45 degree angle. Walk your knee back where it's comfortable. Just pause here, pull your heart forward, lengthen out the sides of the neck. And then your left hand's gonna stay down as your base. Your right hand goes high into a twist. Now activate both glutes, lift hips just a little bit. Continue to gaze over to the right and capture your right foot. Now notice if today you like to draw your heel closer to your glute or kick into your hand. Slowly release. Active runner's lunge. Lift your back knee up here. Tense your fingertips if you like, and just move around the right knee, right hip. And then other side, make it to a high plank pose and then runner's lunge on your left. We'll keep the back knee up to start and just move around the left knee, left hip. And then slowly come down to your right knee. Untuck your toes, feel your length here. Your left foot's at a 45 degree angle and just notice if it moves open or draws in. Just try to bring it stable. Your left heel is working and the right hip is pulling forward. And then find your quad stretch or twist first. Quad stretch if it feels okay. You can always place a block underneath the right hand if you need a little bit more lift. And then slowly release. Now make it to tabletop position, all fours. Back where we started, gaze over your right and left shoulder. Cat cow, pull your belly forward and up. Take your time, exhale round and curl. Pull forward and up, cow pose, and exhale round and curl. So keep going here and know it's your space. If a hip circle feels good, if um, any extra time or movement feel good, know that it is your practice 
and take your time and flow. Let's just take one more here. And exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your back toes, bring your hips up high and just pedal into your space. Still move here. Bend one knee deeply and then the other. Now bring more weight into the heels of your feet rather than your hands. So gentle push in your hands, hips back, more weight to the heels of your feet. Take your right toes high, open up your hips. Circle around the right knee. It could be straight leg circles, bent knee circles, whatever feels good. And then slowly take the other side, downward facing dog. You can pause for a breath and when you're ready, take your left toes high. And just notice right away a little bit of a difference, right and left side. Maybe this leg won't go straight or doesn't want to open as much. Just listen to the body and breathe. And then downward facing dog. Shift your weight forward and come all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes and draw your hands forward front of your room. Now your gaze is to the top of your mat, but head is lengthening. Now take your right hand and left foot lift, hover down, left hand, right foot lift, hover down, keep going. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Now here we wanna strengthen out the lower back, strengthen the glutes and the shoulders. And we're here for 10. Keep breathing, six. Be mindful of the lower back and all exercises. So if it's too much, don't go up as far. Last three, three, each side two. And slowly drop down. Take your right arm out to the side, make sure it's straight. Palm down, left hand by your left shoulder, and then roll over your right shoulder. Left knee may come up. Drop your right ear down onto the mat. And then other side, extend your left arm long. Press away with the right hand. Roll over your left shoulder and bring your left ear down. Slowly come back to center. Hands by your shoulders, tuck your back toes and make it to a child's pose variation. Knees together, just shift your hips back to your heels. Your feet are tucked and you're pressing weight to the heels. Downward facing dog, straighten out your back leg. Walk forward, top of your mat. Halfway lift, engage your inner thighs, glutes, and back. Exhale, fold. Let's take two more. Inhale, engage. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, engage. Exhale, fold. Feet can stay hips with distance. Rise to asana mountain pose. Reach your hands up high to the sky. Now join your palms to heart, or rather overhead. Lengthen out your side body. Now bend your elbows, take reverse namaste. Lengthen your elbows up like a heart lift and press the back of the head to the triceps. 
And once again, you can lightly wiggle right, left, open up the side body and open up your heart. Slowly reach up. Grab your left wrist, bend right. And just pause here. Ground to the outer edges of your feet. Press more weight to the left as you reach right. And open up your left side body. Arrive back up to center. Switch out your hands. Find length and lean over to your left. Feel your belly move in and up. Extend through the right side body as you reach left. And open up right armpit towards the ceiling. Arrive back up to center. Chest expansion, hands go behind you. Knuckles press down and away. Lift your heart slowly, lift your chin, lift your chest. Open mouth, exhale, draw your knuckles more back away from your glutes. One more round of breath, big inhale. Big exhale. Neutralize your head, your neck. Bend your knees with chest expansion, fold. Hinge at your waist. Shift your weight a little bit more forward. Hands go down, high plank pose. And just pause here. Notice which leg you step back with. Switch it out. We'll take about three more sunnays. So every now and then, switch your left dominant foot back. Now let's just walk it out here. Hover your knees back. Drive your heels back. Let's take it for 20. So let's really warm up the shoulders here. Stay active through your legs and core. And just feel your strength already. Maybe the body warms up, the breath warms up. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Know that you can always hold 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold right here. Straighten out your leg, shift your weight forward, come halfway down Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pull your heart forward, shoulders back and take your time. Downward facing dog, press your hips up and back. Pause here and breathe. I will guide you through one sun A, which will be to the top of our mat and a heart lift or back bend through a vinyasa to downward facing dog. And you'll take two more on your own, at your own pace and your own flow. When you're ready, gaze forward and exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Feet together, inhale, rise, Tadasana. Back bend or heart lift. Heart lift reaches up to the sky. Back bend, slightly drop your head down. Elbows can melt down if you like. Open mouth, exhale. At your pace, reach up. At your pace, come down. Halfway lift. And exhale, high plank pose. You can step back with your opposite leg. Take your time, vinyasa, come halfway down. Upward facing dog, pull your heart forward. Downward facing dog, press your hips up and back. Now take your time and two more on your own. In the two, you have your space, you're in your home, get comfortable. You can practice float up, you can take your time. Two rounds start now. Just listen to your breath. Now 
One more round here. And if you're done already, no rush. Just pause in your downward facing dog. Organic movements, you can always move a leg. You can take one more sunne, whatever feels good. We're here for eight. Let's all meet in a downward facing dog. Now let's start with our left leg. So left toes go high. And exhale, low lunge, top of your mat. Pressing with airplane arms, draw your hands back behind you. Now go deeper into your lunge. Activate your right glute. Stay this low, open up warrior two. Just switch out the arms and your back foot. Draw your hands back just a little bit more. Inhale, reverse triangle. Press away from the left foot, reach up and reach back. Extended side angle, reach all the way overhead. Inhale, reverse warrior. Now bend deeper into your front knee. Take a half bind here, right forearm back behind you. Press your rib cage forward as you lean back. Triangle pose, straighten out your legs. Bump your hips back, reach forward and then down. Warrior two, slowly rise up. Reverse warrior, take your left hand high. And exhale, low lunge to the top. Square your hips here, move around with your left leg. You can straighten out left leg, pull your heart forward. Then drop your back knee, reach your hands high to your sky. Now two options here. You go arms on the right, which is right arm underneath your left. If it does not feel good, take chest expansion. Eagle arms, press your forearms forward and just pause here. Bend a little bit deeper into your front knee. So the inner thighs move towards each other energetically. Draw your elbows up just a little bit more. And then back bend if you choose. Inhale, reach up. Open mouth, exhale. Half splits, release your hands, frame your left knee. Draw your right hip forward, heart forward, exhale, fold. This might be a lot, so you can use props underneath the hand. And then walk your hands over to your left. Bump your left hip down a little bit more. And then slowly come back to center and come back to a low lunge. Lift your back knee up. Airplane your arms once again. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Bend a little bit deeper. Reach your hands forward, front of your room, biceps by your ears. Stay strong here for three. Lift your belly in, two, and open up warrior two. Strong arms out to a T. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and back. Extended side angle to a bind. You can take a half bind, which is right forearm behind you, or full bind, which is left hand underneath your left thigh and cap, um, capture for your hands behind you. 
I'll say right here the modification. Hold three, two, and skindasana back of your mat. Release your bind. Bend your right knee, straighten out your left leg. We'll all look a little bit different here. And take a big wingspan. Low lunge to the top of your mat. Square your hips. Down dog kick, open up your hips. If it's early enough for a, a, lot, a wild thing, feel free to take it. Otherwise, just stay at an open hip for three, two, and downward facing dog. Draw your hips back. Gaze forward, chaturanga. Know that chaturangas are optional. You can always skip, use your knees. Take your time. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Right side, right toes go high. Low lunge. Press in with airplane arms. Hands go back behind you. Bend deep into your front knee. Engage your left glute. Squeeze your triceps a little bit more. Stay this low. Open up for your two. Draw your hands back, shoulders back, lengthen out your neck. Reverse triangle, reach up and back. Extended side angle, just feel your length. Reverse warrior, stay nice and low. Take a half bind, left forearm behind you. As you bend deeper into your right knee, reach to the back of your room. Triangle pose when you're ready. Reach forward, right hand to a hover, or to your shin, or lower, and left hand high. Warrior two, slowly rise back up. Reverse warrior, reach up and back. Next exhale, low lunge, hands go down. Pinch your fingertips, move around your right foot a little bit. You can straighten out your right leg. You can flex your right toes. And then slowly come back to a low lunge, drop your back knee. Reach your hands up high to the sky. So once again, either eagle on the left or chest expansion. I'll cue to the chest expansion this time. Eagle pose, you know where to go. Inner thighs working to the midline. Draw your knuckles down, lift your heart up. Knuckles go back a little bit more. And if you took the variation of the back bend or heart lift, go ahead and take it here. Eagle arm back bend or chest expansion, lift heart, open mouth exhale. Release half split. Straighten out your right leg and curve your right hip down. If you bumped a lot of weight to the left, bring it back to the midline. And just breathe. Walk your hands to the right, and once again, you might feel a strong sensation here. You can bring your hands to props or a pillow, or even skip this. Slowly come back to center, low lunge, lift your back knee. Crescent with airplane arms, squeeze your shoulders behind you. Reach your hands forward to feel your strength, biceps by your ears, thumbs a little bit higher than you think. Hold three, two, warrior two, open up. Reverse triangle, reach up and back. Extended side angle and with a bind. 
Left hand can go behind you. Right hand continues to follow if you like, or just stay at the modification. Two more rounds of breath. Release your bind. Skandasana, back of your mat. Left knee will bend. Straighten out your right leg. Big wings fan through your arms. Low lunge, top of your mat. Square your hip. Down dog kick. Take your left, right toes high. Open up your hip, wild thing if you did. Otherwise, just press into your hands. Feel this open hip here. And downward facing dog. Pause here, press both hips back. Heels down. Gaze forward, shift forward, chaturanga. And downward facing dog. Now drop down to your knees, spin all the way down onto your back, so your head can be at the top of your mat if you like. Now take your hands back behind you, cater down, rooted down, and your head at a hover. So let your head just hang heavy into your palms. Now we're just here for three, lift your chest high, your lower back down two, and pulse it out, 20. Little bit higher, 10. Last three, two, stay lifted here. Just swing left, right, left, right, 10. All right, last four, three. We'll stay to the left in two, one. Now stay to the left, lift a little bit higher and circle left side, 10. Last four, we'll reach to the left in three, two, and one, stay left, reach left, 10, center, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, pulse 20. Chest a little bit higher, 10. Last three, two, one, stay lifted. Just move left, right, left, right, 10. So belly is in and up, inner thighs working, and head is heavy into the palm. In three, we stay to the right, in two, Last one, lift a little bit higher, turn to the right and circle right side, 10. Last three, we reach right in two, stay right, reach right, 10, center, nine, center. Now come back to center, take your knees in line with your hips, lower back stays down. At a high diagonal, lengthen, exhale in 10, lengthen, nine. Now each time, try to bring your heels just a little bit lower. Listen to the lower back, make sure it doesn't rise up or get irritated. We're just here for four. We take slow bicycle twists in three, two, Last one, slow bicycle twist. Right, left, right, left. 10. 
nine, eight. Lift your chest a little bit higher. Now in these slow bicycles, I want you to focus on the heels moving a little bit more down. So you feel a little bit stronger here. We're here for three. We go back to extending the legs in two and one, knees together. Now extend at a medium diagonal, exhale in, lengthen, in, lengthen, in, 10. But remember, you can always go a little bit lower. And you can go slower or faster, whatever you like, five. In three, we'll take fast bicycles. Two and one, nice and fast, as fast as you can go. 20 seconds here. Once again, focus on the heels, moving a little bit lower down. Resistance forward, resistance in. Last 10. And one, great job. Stamp your feet down. Drop your head, hands down by your side. Let your lower back naturally rise. Take scoop to bottom of Kanasana, soles of your feet to, to touch, knees open wide. Fill your pelvic floor forward. Take your hands onto your thighs. Press your thigh bones forward, lengthen out your spine. Slowly grab the back of your thighs, hug your knees in, travel forward and back, all the way up to a seat. And then spin around tabletop position. High plank pose. Hold three. We'll make it to side plank in two. Last one. Right hand is your foundation. You can drop down to a knee if you like. Take your left arm high. You can take any variations through the leg. Hold three, two, high plank pose. Come back to center and hold. Know that you can modify in table chop just where I am right here. Hold one more round of breath. Left hand is your foundation. Turn over to the side. Right hand goes high. Any variation, feel your strength. Hold three, two, high plank pose. Stay nice and strong, three, two. If you choose chaturanga or downward facing dog. Gaze forward, top of your mat. Micro bend your knees and exhale, travel forward. We can keep the feet hips with distance here. Come halfway up and exhale, fold. Sit off in the mountain pose, reach your hands high to your sky. Once again, palms to touch. Bend your elbows, reverse namaste. Press the back of the head to the triceps, lengthen your elbows, tiny heart lift, wiggle into your space. Draw your hands up to your heart center and chest expansion. Hands go behind you, open up your shoulders and take figure four. Left foot is your base, right knee comes in line with your hip. Cross over the right foot with left thigh and flex your foot. 
Now, as you bend your left knee, you sink your weight back and down. You can draw your knuckles more overhead. If it's too much, you can release the hands. Your variations for four. Slowly come up to a figure four. And then a one leg Tadasana. Stabilize here. Dancers pose on the right. Swing your right foot back behind you. Capture the inside of your foot and squeeze your thighs together. When you're ready, kick into your hand. Your right shin presses to the back of your room. Lengthen your belly, heart forward. Kick a little bit higher for two. And last one. Slowly come back up to center. Release your right foot. Now let's take a side body stretch. Reach your hands high to your sky. Grab your left wrist, bend right. All right, back up to center, bend left. To center, chest expansion. Shift weight to the right foot. Take your left knee in line with your hip. When you're ready, cross over. Bend, figure four with chest expansion. Remember, each side's going to feel a little bit different. And you're at your home, get comfortable. Go to a place that feels good. It's okay if you have to tap the wall, a couch, or something nearby. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly rise up, one leg Tadasana. Capture your left shin and stabilize. When you're ready, dancers on your left. Kick into your hand. Explore where it feels good, not what it looks like. Kick a little higher and slowly release. Walk your big toes together to touch. Chair pose, bend your knees. Hands to your heart center and prayer twist. Left elbow outside of your right thigh and you have your variations. If you want to go to side crow, feel free to take it. We're here for five, so just breathe. Chair pose, slowly come back to center. Hold here, catch your breath. You know the hands can always place to the heart or chest expansion. When you're ready, prayer twist other side. Your same variation. You can invite into a side curl if you did. And we're here for five rounds of breath. Slowly come back to center. Hold here and breathe. Slowly come up to stand, palms down, straighten out your legs. Turn to the wide part of your mat. We'll take both sides. Extended side angle to the back of your mat. Bend your left knee or your whichever knee. Could be the right, could be the left, just back of your mat. We'll get both sides. Now focus on your gaze to the back of your mat. Shift weight for half moon pose. 
all the way into your back foot. Lengthen your leg. Hands can be to your heart center right away, to a block, the furniture, wherever it feels safe. And balance on one leg here. Take your heel a little bit higher. Engage your glute and plug in your hip. Now hold for three more rounds of breath. Slowly come back up to center, extended side angle. Now that same leg was bent, go to a low lunge back of your mat. Square your hips here. Horizon lunge, watch my feet. Spin to the outer edges of both feet, front and back. Hands go down. And take a standing split. Left toes or back toes go high. Let's open up our hip here. And then close your hip where the hip is plugged down and both hips are pointing down. And then go a little bit lower. So my knee is bent, but you can straighten out here. Hold, three. Shift your weight forward, two. And low lunge. Open up, warrior two. Switch out your legs, warrior two. So throw it to the front of your mat. And take it to extended side angle to prepare for half moon pose. Shorten your stance. Shift your weight forward, press away, and notice that each side will feel a little bit different. So tap anything if you need to hold on to it. Open up your hips. Bring your heel a little bit higher. Hold three, two, Extended side angle, low lunge, horizon lunge. Ground through the both outer edges of your feet, front and back. Hands go down, standing split. Shift your weight forward, fold a little bit deeper. You can open up your hip just to feel the opening and then feel the close of the hip moving down. Now this time, stamp your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. And exhale, come down to a tabletop position. Drop down to your forearms, both forearms at the same time. You can readjust to the top of your mat if you need. Now dolphin pose, straighten out your legs, just like downward facing dog. Walk your knees in a little bit more, your feet a little bit more. Breathe five. Four, walk in just a little bit more, three, you've got this two, drop down to your knees. Now a quick camel pose, slowly come up to standing onto your knees, hands go back behind you, your feet can be tucked here. Draw your shoulder blades behind you. Lift your heart, chin slowly moves up, open mouth, exhale, three rounds of breath. Head goes back to center, keep your toes tucked and drop down to a seat. Hands can rest onto your thighs, shoulders back, Pause and breathe for three. Now 
Now make it to the top of your mat. So hands go down, tuck your back toes, walk your feet forward behind your wrist. Now standing splits, take your left foot more as your base. And if your hands are not down, that's okay, but bend your knees so your hands can be placed all the way down. Right toes go up. Once again, if you need to bend your left knee, that's okay. Draw your shoulders back. So this plugging sensation of shoulders back, engage your right glute, lift your right heel a little bit higher. Walk your hands forward if it's a little bit comfortable, uncomfortable if you shift your weight forward. Now lift your left heel and just pump for 10, nine. Know that you can bend your knee, eight. You can take handstand hops if you like. Keep your shoulders going back and just feel activation through your left glute. We're here for three. Last two, last one and stamp down. Take three halfway lifts. Inhale, engage your glutes, shoulders, and fold. Two more, inhale, glutes, shoulders, and fold. One more, and fold. Now take the other side. Right foot is your base. Bend your right knee if you need to, to bring the palms all the way down. Shift your weight forward and just feel the setup of your hands. Plug your shoulders in. Lift onto the ball mount of your heel. Pump down for 10, nine. So just notice if you lose any uh, strength into the left hip. You want both glutes nice and active. We're here for three two, and one. Stamp your foot down. Take a halfway lift in Malasana Yogi Squat. Turn your toes out, heels in. I'll demo first and then we'll do it all together. The demo that I'll take is Vikasana Crow Pose to a float back. The important thing is to land with bent elbows, and I'll show the modification and then the full variation. The Kasana Crow Pose, your hands will go down, your hips go high, knees to the outer triceps, and create a shelf as you shift your weight forward. You can take one heel up, maybe both. Modification, stepping back, landing with bent elbows, go through your vinyasa. The full variation, the Kasana Crow Pose, weight goes forward, bend your knees, create a shelf. Once you feel that stacking sensation, stay this low, shoot your legs back at the bottom of your exhale. Chaturanga and downward facing dog. Try it here for five. You can try again if you like, four. You can hold, hold um, crow pose if you like, three, two, and take your time. Let's take a wrist stretch. Come all the way down to a tabletop position. Shake out your wrist here and take the tops of your hands down. Lift your belly in and shift your weight back. Slowly come back to center, shake out your wrist. Now one push and then we gotta calm it down. So downward facing dog, take your left foot as your base, right toes go high, and walk your hands to the back of your mat. Just to a distance that you're in a standing split. Plug in your shoulders, 
Shift your weight forward, lift your left heel. Take your time, a tiny hop if you like, into your handstand hop, or just stay in your standing split for three, two, one. Step back, or step down. Walk your hands forward to a downward facing dog. Right foot is your base to the middle of your mat, left toes go high. Walk your hands to the back of your mat where it's comfortable into a standing split. Plug in your shoulders, heart forward. When you're ready, lift onto your heel, tiny hop, and press up to the ceiling. We're here for three. Know that you can hold two. And stamp your feet down. Come down to your knees, bend your feet around, and come all the way down onto your back. Bridge pose, hands down by your, um, hands to go of your heels, shimmy your shoulders underneath you, and when you're ready, bridge pose, lift your hips. Lift a little bit higher. And exhale, slowly release down. Knock your knees together, soles of your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Extend your arms out to a T. And drop your knees left and right. Drop your knees to your left. Take your left foot on top of your right thigh and melt into your space. And then other side, take your knees over to your right. And take your right foot on top of your left thigh. Come back to center. We'll take a quick supine twist with an extended leg. Any irritations to the back or hamstrings, please skip it. Right knee comes in, right foot is flexed. Extend your left leg long. Capture your left hand to your right foot. When you're ready, kick into your hand, supine twist with a straight leg. Curve your right hip forward. And snuggle into this place. Just two more rounds of breath. Slowly come back to center. Take it to the other side. Flex your left toes. Capture the outer edge and kick into your hand. Two more rounds of breath. Then we'll take fish pose. If you want to take plow pose before fish, you'll take your time and arrive it to it at your own pace. Slowly come back to center. Now extend your legs long for fish pose. Fan out your toes, spread them out wide, and then keep drawing your toes forward. Now wiggle your palms and thumbs underneath your glutes. Lengthen out your side body. Now press onto the forearm. Lift your heart up to the ceiling. Open up your collarbones more. Continue to point your toes and when you're ready, slowly drop your head down. 
Continue to breathe. Three. When you're ready, tuck your chin to your chest, slowly lower down. As you extend into your final resting pose, move your legs side to side. And notice where they naturally fall open. Plug your hips in as if you can make your legs shorter. And then slowly let it go. You can shift your side body slightly left and right. Grow a little bit taller to the top of your mat. And then fan out your fingers nice and wide. Stretch out. And as you exhale, just relax. Two more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, relax. One more. Extend. Relax. Lastly, drop your head from side to side. Wiggle your shoulder blades underneath you. And when you're ready, your final resting pose. Truly drop into your stillness, your peace. Notice what called you to this practice. Could be this moment of rest. The moment to let go. To truly honor your self care. Whatever brought you to this mat, take five runs of breath and let it really sink in for the rest of your day. If you have the time, you can stay longer in your resting pose. Be mindful of your time. I will guide you up to a seat, but please know it's optional. When you're ready, reach your arms overhead. Take a full body stretch. Wiggle into your space. Take it to the right or left side. Use your bicep as a pillow. And take your time and arrive to a seat. Bring your shoulders up to your ears as you inhale. Let it drop as you exhale. Two more, breathe in. Let it go. One more, breathe in. And out. Draw your shoulders back in line with your hips. Begin to feel more uplifting in your body, in your mind, and draw your hands to your heart center. Feel the love for the rest of your day. Acknowledge your breath. Full breath in. Full breath out. Heart to mind, bring your thumbs to your third eye and bow to each other's practice. Namaste.
Thanks, yogis, for tuning in. Um, and if you're with Titan Gym, thanks so much for joining. If you have any uh, feedback about the login, it is new. So let me know if you had any troubles whatsoever. Um, and if you have any requests for next week, tomorrow is a rest day. And Monday, we'll get back started up, yoga with weights, and more strength-based classes. If you have any other questions, feel free to message me on Instagram, Facebook, or um, the meeting ID is now my phone number, so feel free to text me if you need anything. Um, thanks again, and have a wonderful day. It's so nice to see you guys pop up.